Metal building systems are not always simple box buildings, but this is a great place to start as we introduce the components of a basic metal building system. Basic roof shapes are either a gable roof, sloping in both directions from the ridge, or a single slope roof. Let's start at the end wall of the building. The intersection of the end wall with the gable roof is called the rake. The end walls and side walls are covered with a cladding material, and framed openings are provided for doors and windows that can be placed on any of the walls. The intersection of the end wall and side wall metal panels will be finished with corner trim. A wall can be designed as a structural diaphragm for lateral loads, which will be further explained in the load path discussion. The eave is the intersection of the side wall and roof. The ridge runs along the length of the roof at the peak of the gable roof. The metal roof cladding is either a standing seam roof or a through fastened roof. Now let's take a look at the structure behind the roof and wall cladding. Secondary framing members run horizontally on the walls and are called girts. They are typically Z-shaped cold-formed steel. Secondary framing members run along the length of the building in the roof and are called purlins. The purlins that align with the anchor points of the X-bracing in the roof are called strut purlins. The purlin along the eave of the building is the eave strut. Purlins can be Z-shaped cold-formed steel or steel bar joists. Depending on the load being carried, strut purlins can be Z-purlins, bar joists, or other rolled shapes. Lateral loads are characterized as either transverse loads, perpendicular to the sidewalls, or longitudinal, parallel to the sidewalls. Finally, let's look at the primary framing. End wall primary framing is typically post and beam construction. The end wall posts or columns are shown along with the end wall rake beam. Interior primary frames are rigid moment frames. The rigid frame columns and rafters are identified. These primary frames carry gravity loads as well as transverse lateral loads. Lateral bracing or X bracing in the sidewall and roof are used to carry longitudinal lateral loads. This will be explained in the load path animation. 